Hey guys, what's up? This is DJ Minute, and today I'm playing some Life is Strange. Now this game, it's not that old, but it has taken quite a while. I have been waiting for all the episodes to come out. I kind of forgot about it a little bit. Life is Strange is a story based game that features first choice. Yes. Choose wisely. I will. Apparently, what is Walt? Um, apparently... Ah, there we go. Apparently, it's using... Okay. I'll be back in one minute, guys. My keyboard has decided to die. Hey guys, what's up? I'm back. Um, I have got now some new batteries. Oh god. Okay. That was so surreal. Famously called film, little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, These I'm in class. Everything's cool. cool. I am okay. From light to shadow, from color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. <gasps> there you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those um, sad mothers and children. She saw you. I haven't kept up with my right? journal as much as I should. And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that I can't yourself. believe I still have this pencil Seriously, case. Though. I should upgrade to the 21st century, but I like it old school. I do love my analog camera. I should take a quick picture now. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? What if Arbus chose to capture people? I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Yeah. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. <coughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Yeah. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please Tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. Um. 
I don't know. I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done... If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? <laughs> oh, I'm not going to read all this. Why is through my food? Sorry. Oh. By Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him. Sorry, Max. No more selfies right now. Online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Okay. Um. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing it. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. You're submitting your photo for the competition. Everybody in class is turning in a photo. So, you see the dilemma? Hi, Kate. Oh. I just Hi, Matt. So hard in the shot, and I'm sure people um. like to be consumed by your work. I just really think you seem quiet today. Just thinking yeah. too much. No, no, no. You have just by participating. By putting your I hear that. Want to go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. Okay. Everybody oh, should have totally. Chance. I only right. want to share whatever gifts I have. With Excuse me. Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Um... I didn't have any time. Way too much homework. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you. But life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? Yeah. But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Yeah. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Okay. I bet you about that. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. Okay, whatever. Nah. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I hope so. I was about I to. Didn't you you Welcome look. to the real world. Just cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture of Chinese class. Because Max wants everybody to see how hip she is. Could you please? It's so sharp. <laughs> I need a serious time out in the bathroom. To the bathroom. Just water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant cat. <laughs> Oh, uh, you're in my fucking way. Third types. To all of you, American girls, it's sad to imagine a world without you. American hey, Amber. girls, I'd like to be part of the world around you. Driving a car by the seaside Watching the world from the bright side right. yeah. Empty, good. 
Nobody can see my meltdown except for me. That was a nice song. I wish I could listen to it more, but copyright sword is gonna have a go at me. And my friend, but it's a bit. I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all starts <laughs> with a bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? Yes. Okay. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Don't put it on the Fuck it. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Nathan, don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just come to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. <laughs> That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! No. Oh, cap. Also. Whoa. What the fuck? How? What? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. As he likely was. These pieces of time can frame us in our I already world. heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now. Oh, shit. Can you give me an example of a Man, photographer I cannot who believe this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller? Diane, Can I actually Diane. reverse time? There you go, Victoria. What? Yeah. I did it. Can you give me I an actually example did of a it. <laughs> perfectly captured the human, human time machine. Anybody? Bueller? Max, Diane. don't freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why when I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Come on, I've heard this. As a gift. I know I'm not dreaming this. You all know, it's real. Has been Come on. I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point can I save her? The portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Um... I'm sorry. I feel sick. 
May I be excused? Nice try, Max. But you're not gonna get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Both. Is there anybody? Oh, shit. Who knows Jefferson stuff? wants to keep me after Lewis class, was a French and I need time to save that girl. A process that gave portraits a sharp, reflective style, like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind the again process. and give him the right answer? Uh. Well, Max, since you've captured our interest in... Okay, it is... The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. <sighs> the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella, Come and Alyssa, spice. get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry. Oh, sorry. Yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Even if you're... I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. Fuck. Huh. I'd never let one of photography's future star... Um... I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's... Um... I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Thank you. Now, I smack that bitch's ass. Bang. I'm go. Come. Oh. No! Fuck it. Sorry. Yes, Victoria, you still have to Oh, I should do him again, I'm going. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition. Excuse me. Photography's. Yeah, sorry. I'm on top of it. I think John. Max. So I actually don't need to hit control. You can't stop it. And I open. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. You know I don't tease. I hate that science class. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Yeah. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that thing down! Tell me what to do. Wow, sir, it's happening. I need a hammer to break it open. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh. Trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? 
No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day! That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. <laughs> you look a little stressed out. Are you okay? No. I'm, I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be up front with me, Max. Okay. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. Um. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know, I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Yeah. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family. Yeah. And one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then... Then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's okay. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Okay. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? No. Ah, uh, that one. No. Nope. Absolutely not. Would Nathan Prescott please come to the front office? Thank you. Rachel Amber. She looks so hopeful and pretty. I wonder what happened to her. So we've got... Hey girl, don't mess in the fucking with them. Yeah. Um... How are you doing? Hey, Hayden. There she is. The retro selfie master. That's me, all right. You look relaxed as usual, Hayden. It's a skill one cultivates at Blackwell. Especially when one represents the Vortex Club. Not to boast. What the hell is the Vortex Club, anyway? It seems so elitist. Only if you're not cool enough to get in. And it doesn't hurt your resume. If you say so. I do. But you should actually come hang with us one night, then you wouldn't be so inclined to gossip. You mean hang with a Vortex Club? That sounds like a setup to a horrible prank. Chillax, paranoia girl. We're not that desperate for fun. We know how to do that on our own. It seems yeah. weird to think about partying with all those Rachel Amber posters up. You're high. 
Rachel used to hang out with us too. She was a blast. Smart, not bitchy like, you know. Um, Let's talk later, Hayden. Bye, Max. No, I have to get my chemical on and study. We should get you and Dana out one night. Yeah, totally. Um. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? Um. Is that really yours? Is that even legal? Of course. Nobody knows about it yet. Isn't it considered a weapon of war? Uh, you read too many conspiracy <laughs> sites. This might be too complicated for you. Funny. Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. Where's your drone? Okay. Oh! Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on! You want to wait for a coffee after school? I need to do some study, please. Uh, make this sure you check out on my hashtag. Yeah, uh, so. Push it up. But no, this is just Hi, Max. Can you get my flashlight? Um, Hi, Max. Can you get my flashlight? I need it, so I'm fine. Die. Meeting the lot looking good. My camera will be good. Um. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. Okay. Okay. Nope. Um. Not in there. Ah, over here, maybe. Stuck on the lamp up. That's a lovely game. Alright. Oh, so where's my dorm? Hey bitches. Ah, go what away. is going on today? I don't know. I don't want to look at your pictures. Just one page. Uh, ah, dorms. Come on, Logan, bring it, bro. Yeah. Oh. I'm sorry. Sometimes with the FPS it goes bad. I just noticed it. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. Yeah. Oh. Hey, bitch. Oh, look. It's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Yeah, you oh, will be. Hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Cool. Oh. Why don't you go Just fuck your selfie? Oh yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. Yeah. Mate, I'm sorry, whatever's gonna happen. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this! Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah. Water on my cashmere? Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. <laughs> nice, bro. Keith, do you understand English? 
Get lost. Alright, what we gotta do? Oh no. with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. Look, I've got to do something with that bucket. Nice, bro. I could crank the sprinkler up and give Victoria and her clones incentive to beat it. Oh, do I have to pick up some cast before? Okay. Yeah. Oh. Um. English? Get lost. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. There goes Samuel da Vinci to paint the window. No. I can't grab that. Samuel is way too close. Now... Okay, let's see if this works. Oh, I do temper. Sorry, Samuel. I know you're gonna hate yourself in a minute. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. It's just water, bit. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Oh no! Oh! No fucking you okay, way. Victoria? Oh, Samuel, sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. <laughs> Don't sit in the paint yourself. Well, let's, um... Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was. But there'll be another. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. That's okay. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. Sweet. I'll go and get that first. The wet, the wet, um... You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and... And the go fuck your selfie. Go fuck your selfie? I will take that. That was mean. Easy. But pretty funny. Yeah. Just one of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. Yeah. I'll see you later. Au revoir. And this is where. Yeah. Victoria probably played um. me. I should have played. No, 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 no. Be nice. She's pissed. 
Victoria is going to be pissed we took so long. She is already pissed. Way, way much. Yeah. How sad. I didn't write anything. I have nothing to say. Oh, it's cry. Oh. So, so sad. Home sweet home. My favorite cocoon. Oh, yeah. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. Uh, um. Um. So addicted to this site. Look at these vintage beauties. Nope. Um, don't. Order. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. Is that what? Because that's survive? <laughs> um. Looks like Dana left me a little post it note. Um. Look, girl. I bought your drive so I can watch some Netflix. Let's move, probably Netflix. I said, if you need it back, just come chuck me down in my room. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Okay, we're going. Leave. And off. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rotten there. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, man. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Okay. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. Um. What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Um. Madison. Uh, Juliet Mason. That was truly sad. Thanks for your concern, Max Caulfield. By the way, Juliet Watson. Hey, Juliet. Oh, yes, Max. Juliet, I've watched. So Juliet Watson, you be nice. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Uh, <laughs> of course you I do. Ridiculous. Thanks. I locked Dana in because she was sexting Zach, my boyfriend. Unbelievable. Um. If you don't let me out, I will would Dana do that? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria, huh? She saw the sext, and Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything, but I bet Victoria did. I know the proof is in her room. Julia. Oh. Taylor. Murder. Hours. Oh, so I think that's a massive time with them. Let's go straight to our PC. I'll give Victoria props for not posting. Boom! This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Um. Um, put an email. Okay. Here's... 
Oh, it's over here. Amen. Take. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. I hope. For <laughs> Victoria, let's cry. So sad. Okay. Juliet, read this. I do. So. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No. But I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. <laughs> you set me free. Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Okay. Oh. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. Uh, flash. Flash the thick. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. What the fuck? Okay, whatever. Bobbin. Uh, don't mind waiting forever. I love this part of that. Okay. I'm ready to see outside. Oh, here it is. Fuck this shit. Oh, that's. Ow! Oh. That hurt. Damn. I better rewind. Oh god, I'm pushing all the way by. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. Max, that was awesome. Thank you. One minute. By the way, thank you. We're not friends. But, Betsy? No problem. No problem. You have quick reflexes. Years of mad dodging skills. Bullies never change. That's why you're better off. They're smart. We should hang out more. Now I have to finish this stupid book. Okay. If it, if it matches your personality, well done. Just cut that? Fucking up. Oh. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Take a picture, I don't know. You can't fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out what side you're on. Please, leave me alone. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for nothing, Max. I am. Man, I should have stepped in between Kate and David. That asshole was so over the line. I could rewind and try something different. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. I want Excuse to me, you off. shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but um, now Officer David... Officer Dickhead. <laughs> oh, God. Sorry about the phone there. He's trying to catch up. Oh, there's 
I thought I'd found that in just one second. I'll show you stand still for a minute. So, anyway. I'm glad I stepped in that time. Can't stand to see people being bullied. No, but anyway, I'm going to lose this here because the phone rate is a bit not helpful at the first minute. So, anyway, I'll see you all in the next one. Project Earth later.